Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Michelle Coons, and right now I'm in front of a piece of Zuni map art. So when we think about maps in our culture, we often think of Google Maps and really these Western idea of what a map looks like. Well, the Zuni, they have a completely different way of understanding and conceptualizing the world and recently have started showing this through a series of these map arts that are done by various artists in Zuni Pueblo. This particular one was done by Ronnie Caccini, and it is on the region where my colleagues and I, we do a lot of archaeological work. And so we actually asked them to, to do this map. And what's so cool about it is that it shows the region where, we're, where we do all this work, but it's from the perspective of Zuni Pueblo. Um, and so it's looking pretty much to the south. And we see all kinds of really interesting things in this map art, including the Thunderbird, which is a clan symbol uh, for the Zuni. And it's a symbol that is seen on rock art in this region. And the rock art is in this panel, which is represented here. So these are actually four different archaeological sites that we've done some work at that are represented in these four quadrants. So just a completely different way of conceptualizing the world from a Zuni perspective. This is the Toriette Lakes Great Kiva where we've been doing archaeological field work for the last few years in collaboration with the Zuni. Um, this kiva we now know dates to about 1100 or so AD and what was interesting was that it was very empty. We did not find very many artifacts. Um, we think that people may have cleared it out in the past because of this. Uh, we did find some really interesting things, including crystals underneath of the center hearth, and in the posts that would have held up the roof for the kiva, we found some really, really neat beads. But in general, it was fairly, fairly clean. What was also interesting about this in this this kiva in this map art was that when Ronnie first painted it, he made it circular before he had actually come to visit the site. Um, when he came to visit the site, realized it was a square kiva, which was pretty typical of that time period around 1100 or so, but is not the way that kivas look today. So we can see how there's a change um, through time. And that was a pretty fascinating thing that we got to learn through the eyes of one of the Zuni elders.